a joyous and celebratory gathering, but with an important message. The LGBTQI plus community say hate crimes and homophobia will not stop them from being who they are. No matter how much people want to see us not exist, we are occupying space, we are cementing ourselves, and we will make sure that the fight doesn't end with us. It will continue until we get the treatment that we deserve. It's 2022 and people, cisgendered people still think so low of us and they think that gay people or lesbians or even trans women are not deserving of the same opportunities. So being here, we are basically celebrating our differences. In recent months, the LGBTQI plus community was left shattered after a lesbian woman in Kimberley was brutally murdered. There is a lot of intolerance. People have not really accepted the community. So those are some of the challenges that we are still facing. And that's why this gathering is important. It's trying to be able to sensitize communities to make sure that we get accepted and we are tolerated within the community. We need to take away that power from society to be able to say that they they affirm us. Already the constitution affirms us. Already, uh, uh, you know, international systems such as uh, laws on human rights protect the LGBTQ. The De Gale organization, which organized the gathering, maintains that it will continue to fight for justice for the LGBTQI plus community. I mean, two months ago, we had to experience a hate crime that just perpetuated in the province, where a lesbian woman was killed brutally. And up until today, we're still fighting for justice. As the year nears its end, those gathered here say they are hoping for a better 2023 in a society that is more accepting. Nerea Shakuta, SABC News, Kimberley.